ladies and gentlemen, you know, the articles have been coming out left and right over the magnetic field shifting and what it is doing. Now, one of the things I, I want you guys to know this, one of the things it said it was going to throw off GPS. We were out last night. The GPS in the car was acting up. So I said, well, let me see if I can get it on my smartphone. So I pulled up the GPS. It was acting up on my smartphone too. I think they're right when they said this shift on earth was going to throw off GPS. It's already happening now. And I thought it was just me. I was talking to another person um, on my street and they were having problems with GPS as well. So it's happening. They're right. They said it was going to throw off the navigational systems and GPS. It's already happening, y'all. It's already happening. So this is one article. And just to show you, the Arctic um, ice is melting. It is melting at an accelerated rate. And these articles recently came out over the past few days. This one's January 15th, 2019, and this one's the 16th. So we're going to see a lot of things happening with this earth new tilt. A lot is going to change on this earth. And I think this um, Arctic ice sheets that are melting very quickly now, I think that's a sign that this earth is about to heat the hell up like we have never seen it before. I really, truly believe that. But we shall see in time. Right now, we're in the deep freeze where I am. But I really believe this is going to make a huge difference in the climate. What we are seeing is something huge happening on this earth right now. And I guess because none of us have ever lived through something like that, it's a lot of things unknown about it. But I think we will learn very quickly as we move along with this new shift that's going on. So let's get into this as levels of the greenhouse gas carbon dioxide rise and warm the globe. Antarctica's ice will become more vulnerable to cycles on the astronomical scale, particularly the tilt of our planet is as it spins around its axis. New research found, uh, finds that over 30 million years of history, Antarctica ice sheets responded most strongly to the angle of Earth's tilt on its axis. When the ice extends to the ocean, interacting with currents that can bring warm water lapping at their margins and leading to increased melting. And that's exactly what's going on. They said the, the melting is going a lot faster than they've ever seen before. There is so many things going on. Look, today is January 18th, y'all. We are literally two days away from the blood moon. Two days away. Now, today where I am, it's very overcast and we still have storms moving in. So I sure hope over the next two days that some of this overcast can go away. I would love to go outside and see that blood moon. I really would. And it's going to be visible all over North America, no matter where you are, no matter what state you're in. You should be able to see it as long as the skies permit. And they're also saying that the unusual thing about this blood moon, it's going to turn the whole sky red. So I am... I am so looking forward to seeing the whole thing. I really am. I hope I don't miss it. But it's going to start early enough for most of us to see it because it's supposed to start around 9.30 um, p.m. where I am. 
a lot of people will still be up. And if you're on the um, West Coast, it'll be even earlier for you, you know, but you should all still be up early enough to see this whole thing. You know, so I am so looking forward to it. And I know there's so many people that are afraid of this blood moon. They think this is the end. It is, technically it is, but it's not. It's not the end of this world. This world is not going anywhere. The end are the people that are in rulership of this earth. That is what's going to shift. A lot of things are going to shift on this earth. It has to shift. We can't go on like this. We really can. You know, everything that's happening on this earth, it's no good. It's no good. It's only good to the people that are running it. And see, if you don't care about everybody else, then that you don't make a good leader. Uh, just plain and simple. That's just the way it is. You, if you don't care about other people and you only care about yourself, then you automatically should be X'd out as a leader. Okay. So the effect of the tilt peak with carbon dioxide levels were similar to what scientists predict for the next century. If humans don't get emissions under control, collapsing, um, ice shelves, you know, those are the things that will happen. As carbon dioxide levels pass 400 parts per million, the climate will become more sensitive to the Earth's tilt. I'm telling you, we're going to heat up. We're going to heat up, y'all. I'm telling you, we are going to heat up. Um, really critical is the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, said a study co-author, Stephen My uh, Mayer. Um, all right, let me just go down because that's really not important. Reconstructing the past. Over about 40,000 years, the Earth axis tilt back and forth like a rocking chair, uh, Meyer said. Currently, um, now they're saying it's 23.4 degrees, but it can be as little as 22.1 degrees or as much as 24.5 degrees. because So that tells me they really don't know how much it's going to tilt, but it's definitely going to tilt. The tilt matters for um, when and where sunlight hits the globe and can thus influence climate. Yes, I do agree with that. The reconstruct a history of how Antarctica's ice has responded to this tilt. Uh, Myers and his co-authors used a few sources of information on the Earth's climate past. One source was calcium carbonate from the ocean bottom left behind by single-celled organisms um, called Benneth. Okay, I don't know. Um, these organisms secrete a calcium carbonate shell around themselves, uh, locking in global continuous record of chemistry of the ocean and atmosphere. Sediment records from right around Antarctica provide another source of climate history. A uh, specialty of study, co-author and paleoclimatologist Richard Levy of GNS Science and Victoria University of Wellington in New Zealand. The sediments drilled from the ocean bottom in long columnar uh, cores. Oh, okay, I know what they're talking about, where they dig all the way down and then pull out all of this. Um, sediment. Okay. Um, also hold record of the past. The glacier, for example, dumps a distinctive mixture of mud, sand, and gravel where it sits. These core provide a very detailed picture of where the ice sheets once were, Meyer said, but there are gaps in the records. 
ice cycles, the data from both sources, the researchers pieced together a history of Antarctica from 34 million to 5 million years ago. The first large ice sheets on Antarctica formed 34 million years ago, Levy said, and year-round sea ice became the norm only 3 million years ago. When carbon dioxide levels fell below 400 parts per 1 million. From about 34 million years ago to about 25 million years ago, carbon dioxide was very high. And most of Antarctica ice was land based, not in contact with the sea. The continent ice advance and retreat were relatively insensitive to the planet's tilt at this time, the researchers found. Between about 24.5 million and about 14 million years ago, atmospheric carbon dioxide dropped between 400 and 600 uh, ppm. Ice sheets advance more often into the sea, but there wasn't very much floating sea ice. At this time, the planet became quite sensitive to the tilt of Earth's axis. Okay, Earth's vanishing ice. So that's what's happening. Everything is vanishing because this Earth is heating up, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, they can explain it in all of these scientific ways, but the bottom line is if everything is melting rapidly in Antarctica, and we see this earth is tilting, then this is going to be a real heat up. All I can say is y'all hang on because this is going to be quite a ride that we will be taking. Mm, It reminds me of that song back in the day. Y'all remember Fantastic Voyage? (laughs) That's what I feel like singing right now, <laughs> because that's what we're going on. We are going on a serious voyage on this earth. The changes are rapid because it must be that way, ladies and gentlemen. The shift must be very rapid. And I don't know what's going to happen, y'all but I welcome this change. I really do. I welcome this change. So if you don't have those AC units in, make sure you get them in because you're going to need them. (laughs) You're going to need them badly this summer with all of these shifts and changes, not only on the earth, but in the universe. You know, I was looking at articles talking about Saturn is rapidly losing its rings. There is something going on in the universe that's just completely changing everything. But please set your clocks and get ready for this blood moon, our super wolf blood moon that we're only two days away from. It is so hard to believe. I remember when I put my first video out back in December talking about this, and it's already practically here. I'm going to just grab me some wine. (laughs) I'm just going to enjoy watching the blood moon. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.